About three weeks ago I went to Kirby which is just on the outskirts of Liverpool within the borough of Knowlesley to see how the new station being constructed at Headbot Lane is progressing. The new Headbot Lane station is part of an £80 million project to extend the Kirby branch of the Mersey Rail Northern Line northwards roughly one mile. The project which is being funded through the Transforming Cities Fund that was granted to Liverpool City Region Combined Authority will see a new three platform station constructed at Health Belt Lane along with a short section of double track. Once the new station is constructed passengers will still need to transfer onto Northern Services if they wish to head northwards towards Wigan however once the new station is complete they'll be able to transfer at Headbolt Lane rather than Kirby which will become a through station. £80 million might sound like a lot of money for just one station but the project will involve doubling the track between Kirby and the new station and the construction of a new two track bridge over County Road. The new Headbot Lane station will have three platforms, two for Mersey Rail services and one for Northern services heading towards Wigan. Initially the three platforms will be accessible via paved sections separating the Mersey Rail platforms and the northbound platform and that will provide step free access throughout the station. However, the station has been designed with passive provision for stairs and lifts to be installed in future if major rail services are extended further northwards. If this happens, the northbound platform will be removed and the two Mersey Rail platforms will act as northbound and southbound platforms with lifts and stairs connecting the two platforms. Kirby Station will retain the single platform at which Mersey Rail services currently terminate and the north facing bay platform which currently serves northbound services to Wigan will be removed. So the Kirby Station will just have a single platform and that single platform will serve both northbound and southbound Mersey Rail services. Although it's only currently a modest extension, is roughly a mile from uh, Kirby to the new Headbolt Lane station, it is seen as a key stepping stone on, tr on the track to eventually running services through to a new station at uh, Skelmsdale. Uh, unfortunately, however, those plans have recently been rejected by the DFT, which is a bit of a shame because I think you know Skel Skelmsdale really does deserve to have a station. So I don't think it's the end of that particular plan, but at the minute it's kind of hit a bit of a stumbling block with the DFT refusing to fund it. But it's still an ambition of Merge Rail to operate services to a station at Skelmstone. The new extension from Kirby to Headbot Lane will take advantage of the new Class 777s which are hopefully being introduced on the Merge Rail network this year. A small tranche of the Stadler built units will be fitted with batteries uh, which means that the line from Kirby to Headbot Lane won't have to be electrified with third rail electrification and what will happen is the units will just operate on battery between Kirby and Hellbolt Lane and then back again. There was initial talks of the set, all of the 777s being fitted with small batteries but I think now it's just going to be a small batch of them but uh, that's I'll have to try and confirm that later on. I thought I had seen it somewhere a figure for the number of 777s that will be fitted with batteries but the key takeaway point is that uh, the line between Kirby and Hellbolt Lane won't be electrified. The actual 777s themselves the last time I spoke to the project lead last year said that one of the 777s that's currently on trial on the Mersey Rail network travelled from Sandhills to Southport on battery power alone so although it was over the third rail network it was only being powered by the battery packs that it had. Uh, that's a journey of approximately 20 miles so you know it's it's a good journey so obviously the uh, the 0.8 or the one mile journey from Headbolt Lane or the two mile journey from Kirby to Headbolt Lane and back again won't really stress the batteries but I think the 20 mile range does open up possibilities for future extensions of the Mersey Rail network without needing electrification or third rail electrification. The new Bot Lane Station as well as featuring the three platforms for the Mersey Rail services and the Northern services to connect. There'll be a car park with approximately 300 spaces and also be a bus interchange there as well providing onward travel via bus. There they are, that's pretty much all of the information that I have available on Headbolt Lane. Uh, I will be keeping a close eye on this project. It is, it's re relatively close to me, so I can get up to Headbolt Lane to keep an eye on this. So I do plan to make future trips up to Headbolt Lane to take a look at how, how the project is uh, developing. But if any other information does come to light, then uh, I will try and update uh, as soon as I can. I hope you found this video informative. If you have, do hit that like button. It really does help the channel and maybe drop a comment if you've got any questions or any comments about the video or even consider subscribing it really would help the channel grow and get noticed but i'm going to leave it there for today say until next time bye bye